John. Welcome everyone. Monday, February 8th. Board meeting. Call the meeting to order. And if you will, please stand with me for a moment of silence, followed by the flame of lead. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. Mrs. Yoey, uh, roll call, please. Daniel Antonelli. Here. Linda Burke. Here. Mitch DeLong. Here. Rodney Messler? Here. Gail Perkins? Here. Douglas Razig? Here. Kimberly Voorhees? Here. Diane West? Here. Derek Worthington? Here. Ed Hamburger? Here. Trent Bryant? Here. Dickerson? Here. Aaron Gustin? Here. William Howard? Mark Schlosser. Here. John Turek. Amy Yoey is here. A quorum is present. Very good. Thank you very much. Moving along. Item D, announcements. Mr. Hamburger. Uh, we're finally back to full person instruction today. District lot. It feels really good to have the kids and everybody back. So, so I am just... Anyone else? Not uh, two. Approval of order of the agenda. We'll entertain a motion to approve the order of the agenda. I make that motion. Linda Burks. Dan Antonelli, second. Seconded by Dan Antonelli. Discussion? Seeing none, roll call, please. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. Kale Perkins? Aye. Douglas Raising? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? Aye. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Very good, thank you. Approval of the minutes. Approve the minutes from January 4th, work session, and January 11th, board meeting. Motion, please. Motion. Motion by Rod Messler. I'll second. Second by Kale Perkins. Discussion? Mitch, this is Kim. One of the more the meeting minutes states that there's an attachment and the attachment is not on there. So I just wanted to make Amy aware of that, that that needs to be added. Very well. Anything Thank else? You. Being nothing else, uh, roll call, please. Linda Burks. Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. Kale Perkins? Aye. Douglas Raising? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? Aye. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Mitch Long? Aye. Motion carries. Very good. Four, Treasurer's Report. Mrs. Yoey. All right. So for the general fund in January, beginning balance was $3,533,883.82. Total receipts of $263,085.98. Total expenditures of $915,224.73. Payroll transfer out of $245,000. $521.65 for an ending balance of $2,636,223.42, of which we had our committed and assigned changes from last month. Of, so our total for committed and assigned was $2,177,698 for an unassigned as per cash flow at the end of January 31st of 
$525.42. Our payroll account started beginning balance January of $6,314.98. Total transfers in an interest of $245,000. $524.43. Total expense of $242,290.85 for an ending balance of January 31st, 2021 of $9,548.56. Our cafeteria starting balance for January was $76,201.04. Total receipts of $30,805.00. And 20 cents total expenditures of ten thousand seven hundred dollars and thirty two cents for an ending balance of ninety six thousand three hundred five dollars and ninety two cents as of the end of January 31st 2021. Our capital reserve beginning balance was seventy thousand one hundred and twelve dollars and eighty cents total receipts interest of nine excuse me two dollars and ninety eight cents for an ending balance of $70,115.98 as of January 31st. Our extracurricular activities beginning balance for January was $36,249.94. Total receipts of $2,013.10. Total expenditures of $757.50. Our ending balance for, as of January 31st for extracurriculars was $37,505.54. Our scholarship fund beginning balance for January was $30,042.23. We had 18 cents of interest. We dispersed $3,100 of scholarships. So our ending balance for CD and savings is $26,942.41 as of January 31st. Our Plegate account is one month behind. Our beginning balance in December was $4,172.75. Our investment interest in December was four cents. Our disbursements was $197.85. Ending balance as of December 31st, 2020 of $3,974.94. Very good, thank you. For B, then, is the payment of general fund and cafeteria fund bills. Can I entertain a motion to approve both, please? I make a motion. Linda Burks. Second, Derek Worthington. Seconded by Derek Worthington. Discussion. Being none, roll call, please. Rodney Messler. Aye. Kale Aye. Douglas Razig. Aye. Kimberly Voorhees. I had some questions and I tried to ask them, but for some reason you couldn't hear me. So do you want me to wait till everyone votes and ask nope. them? Or? Go ahead before we finish. Yeah. So the general so. fund. I have a question about what the three thousand or the treasurer's report, three thousand four ninety three forty eight. It says miscellaneous. For the in for receipts. The treasurer's report, yes. Um, that is of, of many different things, and if you're going to ask that, if you could send the question in ahead of time, I'd be more than happy to be able to answer it on the spot. I can't answer it today. Okay. Then my next question is um, Muccio's on the payment of the general funds. He's listed for $35,679.86 and $27,188.31, both for boys basketball, varsity travel. Is that tr transportation? Is that amount we have to pay even if they didn't go to games? No. Or what is that? Those are those are the bills for Muccio. That's their annual thing. If you notice, in the first column it says regular transportation, and then under and then a secondary description of boys basketball. So it's the total amount, and it just happens to be the first two items that are paid with the bill. So the bulk of that is regular transportation. And boys basketball was like $321. If you'd like, I'll pull the invoice. Okay, yeah, I can get that later then. Um, then I also had a question about Frontier. It was on there for 971.70. And I know we keep some phones for the per contracts that we have, but is, is there something else in that or is that just for those phones? 
No, that is the actual telephone bill for all three locations. So we have the district office, the elementary, and the high school office. So that $971 is split between the three buildings. Okay. Thank you. That was all I had, Mitch. Sorry. Do you want me to vote now or do you want me to start? Stand by. Okay. Really, Voorhees? Aye. Would anyone that already voted like to change their vote? No. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. Mitch DeWong? Aye. Motion carries. Very good. Thank you, Amy. All right, number five, public comments on agenda items. I understand we have not. Yeah, very good. Okay. Mitch, I just had something I wanted to add to this. This is Kim, because I had a few of my constituents stop me in the store and ask me to ask, will we be fixing the video from last month and last week so they can hear them as they are concerned that we have been voting at these meetings? So I just wanted to pass that on. Yep, we changed our internet connection to the live feed today. We're actually hardwired. Um, so we're going to see if that makes a difference for us. Hopefully it does. Okay, thank you. And if they if they think they missed something, they can get a hard copy of the meeting minutes also. So. Okay. Anything else? Move on to six reports. Does anyone have anything in addition to add from what they had last week? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to give a total amount for our uh, heart challenge from the Sam, if that's possible. We had uh, a little over five thousand dollars, brought us up to about sixty-five thousand since the seventeen years Ms. Sam uh, has done this event, raising for the American uh, Heart Association. Um, it's fantastic. The video should be coming soon. Friday, we had a little uh, little video in the in the gym. Uh, I got twenty pies to the face. Uh, you answered my question. I was coming. I want to know how many pies you got. Yeah, twenty. Uh, my uh, my kids were over the moon, excited to to get me. So, uh, yeah, my granddaughter was a little bit short of the one fifty, so she wasn't going to be. That was one thing she wanted, and I said, "I'm not putting in any more money this year." <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Mrs. Burks, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, but I just want to also comment the the teachers that it's been a lot of in and out uh, with the, the the influx from around the county over the holidays, and it's just been a lot of kind of mass chaos and pandemonium for the the students and teachers, and they're just doing a phenomenal job. And I just appreciate everything that they've done, and it's hard to keep track of a lot, but they're, I mean, flexibility. We said from the beginning was the the key to this year's survival, and I I can't tell you how much the teachers have just embraced that, and we've we've done a really good job. So I appreciate their everything they've been doing. So and all your guys' support has been very vital in that as well. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe you can go to Chicago and teach them a few things. <laughs> or Buffalo. <laughs> or Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo is actually there. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. Thank you all. Seven, policy and board procedures. 7A is first reading of policy revisions. Policy 103, 113.1, 113.2. One twenty two, one twenty three, and two fifty two. These are policy revisions. And B is the first reading of new policies. Policy one thirteen point four, one twenty three point two, and two eighteen point three. And seven C. Is a service agreement for school-based case management. And that's to approve the service agreement with you know, Potter County Human Services. And 7D is the Potter County Human Services Business Associate Agreement Amendment. Amendment. Okay. Item E is approval of the school calendar for years 21-22.
This is where we should be voting. Yeah. I don't see it, but that's not where So we will be voting on 7A, E, C, D, and E. We'll entertain a motion to approve those items. I'll make a motion. motion by Kale Perkins. Second, please. I'll second. Second by Linda Burks. Discussion on any of them? Being none, roll call, please. Gail Perkins? Aye. Douglas Raising? Douglas Raising? Come back to him. Kim Voorhees. Aye. Diane West. Aye. Derek Worthington. Aye. Daniel Antonelli. Aye. Linda Burks. Aye. Rodney Messler. Aye. Douglas Razig. Mitch DeLong. Aye. Motion carried. Very good. Doug is indicating that he's on there, but he's just not able to respond. So he has issues with those we can uh, discuss later. Uh, item A, curriculum. So we have a number three here. A, A insight, and ed, ed, insight, instructional management system, a five-year agreement with on-hand schools. Uh, 8B is revised uh, middle high school course descriptions, and 8C is tutoring to approve three teachers, three times a week, three hours times 10 weeks. So we'll entertain a motion to approve A through C, please. Motion. Motion by Rod Messler. Second, please. I'll second. Second by Kale Perkins. Discussion. Being none, roll call, please. Let's try Douglas Razig again. We'll come back to him. Kimberly Voorhees. No. Diane West. Aye. Derek Worthington. Aye. Daniel Antonelli. Aye. Linda Burks. Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. Kale Perkins? Aye. Douglas Raising? And Mitch DeLong? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. Moving on to nine, personnel. Oh, I received a phone call from Mr. Carpenter from PSEA at four o'clock today. That's told me that the uh, Soil Valley Teachers Association had agreed to the to the uh, draft uh, ratification agreement that uh, that we had talked about last week. So is here in front of us. And so I'll entertain a motion to approve memorandum of agreement with OVTA. Motion. And I'll second that. Motion by Diane West. Second by Linda Burks. Any discussion? So that's the one that was attached with the minutes today, but the yes. final one. Well, that, this, this the next one will be the agreement. Oh, the next one's the final. That was okay. This is the next one. This is the MOU with uh, those three people that were the box people. Right. Okay. okay. Roll call, please. Kimberly Voorhees. Aye. Diane West. Aye. Derek Worthington. Aye. Daniel Antonelli. Aye. Linda Burks. Aye. Rodney Messler. Aye. Kale Perkins. Abstain. Douglas Raising. Mitch DeLong. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, 9B is the OBTA agreement. This is to approve it. 
20 to 2023 agreement with the uh, Teachers Association. Entertain a motion, please. Motion. Motion by Diane West. Second, Dan Antonelli. And Linda Burks. Okay. Discussion. I would like to thank the uh, committee, Teachers Association, Mr. Carpenter, Mrs. Joey, and Mr. Carpenter, Mr. Hamburger for the participation through the uh, agreement process through the negotiations. I think it worked out well for for everyone. Mitch, I have a question when you're done too. Yes, Kim, go ahead. Um, it's, it's not, I don't know if this is the right place or not. It is about the contract though. Um, how with Governor Wolf's education plan if passed, which calls for setting the starting teacher's salary to at least 45,000 a year affect this? I'm just thinking ahead to our budget and I wanna make sure we set aside enough. And since this contract shows us at 41,909, I just think it's a I think it's great what the governor is doing is proposal to help address the teacher shortage. I just want to know how could it affect the contract and the entire scale? The proposal has been out there for a number of years. And so I think we'll just deal with it when it occurs. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank so. you. Sure. Anyone else? Roll call, please. Diane West. Hi. Derek Worthington. Hi. Daniel Antonelli. Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. Rodney Musler? Aye. Kale Perkins? Aye. Douglas Razick? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? And Mitch DeLong? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. All right, so we'll move on to 9C, resignation. Accept the resignation of Mrs. Perkins, effective June 30th, 2021. A motion, please. Motion. Diane West, a second by Rod Messler. Any discussion? Okay. Being none, roll call, please. Eric Worthington? Aye. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. Gail Perkins? Abstain. Douglas Raising? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? Aye. Diane West? Aye. And Mitch DeLong? Aye. Congratulations, Mrs. Perkins. Okay, then 9D, notification of student teachers. This is just for information. This is just for information. Mm -hmm. We get uh, two in the elementary school. Where? At the elementary? The elementary school. One will be with Mrs. Castano and the other one with Mrs. Jim. For the remainder of the year? Is that how that works? Or? Uh, second semester. Second. Okay. Moving along to 10 then. Finances, abatements, and exonerations. Approve the 2020 abatements and exonerations. Motion, please. Motion, Motion Derek Worthington. Motion by Diane West. Second by Derek Worthington. Discussion? Seeing none, roll call, please. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. Hale Perkins? Aye. Douglas Razig? Aye. Kim Voorhees? Aye. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. It's long. Aye. 10B, tax collector compensation rate. To approve the tax collector compensation rate of 3%. Motion, please. Motion. Motion by Diane West. I'll second. Second by Kale Perkins. Discussion. Being none, roll call, please. Linda Burks? Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. Kale Perkins? Aye. Douglas Frazier? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? Aye. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. Daniel Antonelli? 
Aye. And Mitch DeLong. Aye. Okay, aye. Very well. 10C Norton Trust grant application to approve the administration to submit a grant for an outdoor classroom, concession trailer, and outdoor fitness area. Entertain a motion, please. I'll make a motion. Linda Burks. Second, please. I'll second. Gale Perkins. Second. Discussion. Uh, Mitch, this is Kim, and I have a question about that. How much is the dollar amount that you'll be submitting, Judd? Uh, 49960 as of right now. I'm still waiting on uh, two other quotes for the outdoor classroom. That's a roundabout number. Okay, and then will you be putting a copy of the grant yep. on here for us to view? Yep. Okay, thank you. Anything else? None? Roll call, please. Rodney Messler? Aye. Gail Perkins? Aye. Douglas Brazen? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? Aye. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. And Mitch Shalom? Aye. Good. Then D. Lease agreement for security cameras to approve the three year lease agreement with uh, with Packard Financial Services. Motion, please. <coughs> Motion by Diane West. Second? Second. Second by Rod Messler. Discussion? Being none, roll call. Caleb Perkins? Aye. Douglas Brazing? Aye. Kimberly Voorhees? Nay. Diane West? Aye. Derek Worthington? Aye. Daniel Antonelli? Aye. Linda Burks? Aye. Rodney Messler? Aye. And Mitch DeLong? Aye. Motion carries. Very, very good. Number 11, facilities. So if we have one request for the Fire Department, use of the facilities June 26th. That sounds encouraging for the Summer Fest, okay. Summer Fun Fest, pending COVID guidelines, of course. Anybody have any questions on anything else? That's good, thank you. Number 12, safety and security. Not, nothing to report, okay. And number 13, upcoming dates, Mr. Hamburger. Yep, February 12th, we have our makeup day, so there'll be no school, as well as February 15th. Uh, March 1st, we'll have our financial facility community at 6.30 and our board work session at 7. Uh, March 8th, will be our board meeting at 7 p.m. And the 14th, for our sweetheart. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Anyone else have any dates? None? All right, number 14, correspondence, Mr. Hamburger. Uh, I'm getting weekly updates on the vaccination process now, so I'll be pushing that out to all the staff members and everybody else that's included. We're still in the 1A phase, but uh, some of our staff does qualify for 1A. The last I heard, there's a shipment supposed to come in later this week. Um, to the region, so we should be seeing an increased number of vaccine drawn So hopefully we can get the vaccination process done in a timely manner and as soon as possible for us. So, all right. Very good. Anyone have anything before we adjourn? And if not, stay warm. Uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn, please. Diane West. I'll second. Michael Perkins. Discussion? If not, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carried. We are adjourned.